Get ready to ride. Here comes another episode of Auto D TV. We're down here at my good friend Roger's shop, RZT Performance. We're gonna jump inside. We're gonna show you what it's all about. As the truck goes nice and loud. <laughs> Welcome down to another episode of Auto D TV. I'm down here with my very, very good friend Roger. What's up, Raj? What's going on? Hey, RZT Performance specializes in 300 ZX cars, and of course, he can work on pretty much any make and model. Roger's been doing this since how long, Roger? 2004. Wow, it's yeah. been a long time. And your brother Rich too, as well. Yep. I know a lot of people know all across America how great you are with these 300 ZX's and just Nissans in general. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I would have to give the credit to my brother Rich. I mean, he was the founder and the starter of RGT. Right. Um, you know, he started when I was really young. We we're about 10 years apart. Okay. And uh, you know, so long of doing it, Pops was doing it. He yep. back in Jamaica. You know, he was actually a rally car racer. Wow. You know, so that was like the inspiration from from early on. It was great. I mean, uh, he got into the 300s. Okay. You know, and I guess he just had a hit for it and, you know, he kind of mastered the motor and got it to work just right. Your dad is a master mechanic as well as yourself. And again, I have to give a big shout out to Rich. And your brother's awesome. Every time he comes up here, he's always got like cool music. I don't know where he finds this <laughs> music, but it like, has like a Caribbean kind of feel. <laughs> yeah, but it's sure. like straight up party to like three, four o'clock in the morning kind of music. I love it. So for how's sure. Rich doing? Yeah, he's doing pretty good, pretty good. You know, he's doing the family thing, you know. We got opened up another shop in uh, Melbourne, Florida. Uh-huh. He's doing pretty great. And I want everyone to know where the new shop is located. Not many people know. I mean, you're not too far from your old shop, but tell everyone where your new shop is located. Well, we moved right down the block. It's actually, we're still on Cabot Street. Uh, it's 50 Cabot Street, West Babylon, New York. My car has been running tip top ever since I met you and Pops and Rich and, and the whole crew down here. Like I said, it's an absolute blessing because people think they know how to work on these cars and which in fact they don't. Yeah. So that's the problem. I know you work on everything, I, from like Hondas to Acuras, Nissans, Toyotas. I've seen a Super in here before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at the car, you know, it's a great looking car. You yeah. know, I've always liked the design. Mm -hmm. I think that's always what caught my eye, you know, the design and sit behind the wheel and the way it feels. You right. Know? It really sits on the road, you know? Tell me about your race car that I love, the gray one that you have, the 300ZX. Well, the gray car was the original car that went nines. Okay. Back in 2004, we had it on an English Town Flyer, you know, it was, it was all over. That was when the car was actually a twin turbo car. Okay. Um, did great, ran 9.6, 142 miles an hour. Wow. Um, now we changed the setup, it's a single turbo setup. Um, it's got a nice precision turbo on there. I'm not going to mention the size, okay. you know? <laughs> okay. but uh, it's pretty big. All right. um, we designed a single intake manifold. Looks really cool. Um, yeah, hopefully this year we'll be running out. The next thing is also, we also put the sponsor from uh, Supertech. Right. Um, Supertech gave us uh, 0.5 mega bow, spring retainers, uh, the whole nine. So now we're coming out with a full race head. A car should be making crazy amount of power. Hey, why don't we take a look at these cars that are behind us and Roger will fill us in on what's going on with them. You ready? Let's go! Yeah! For those of you that want to know what we're all about, it's like this, y'all. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% Up in lights, he just wants to be heard. Whether it's the beat of the mic, he feels so unlike everybody else alone. In spite of the fact that some people still this is a beautiful picture underneath the hood. Yeah, definitely. it's great. And just remind everyone real quick where they can find you because it took me 
forever to find years and years and years and my Z was struggling. So real quick, tell everyone where they can find you. Well, if you come on down to 50 Cabot Street in West Babylon, New York, we're located right here. You can't miss us. A bunch of Nissans outside. <laughs> you'll, see, yeah. you'll see about like 20, 300 ZXs outside and other Nissans and Skylines and everything else that he has going on over here. Tell everyone what you do at RZT Performance because I can't list it all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we go from, let's start out simple, let's see. We do services, we do engine building, uh, engine modification, turbo rebuilding. Um, I mean, there's a list, it, it never ends, we do it all. I mean, if you need something done, it's a one-stop shop, we get it done. Even paint, engine bays, yep. Yep. bigger injectors. Yep. Yeah. Born honing blocks, machine work, the whole nine. If they don't make it, we can definitely fabricate it. That's awesome. That's, that's good to know because sometimes the parts are getting hard to find for these cars. Yeah, for sure. I always stop in your office from time to time and I feel bad because I'm always interrupting you when you're trying to work. But I love coming here looking at all the beautiful cars. And this engine, every time I stop in, it looks like it gets more and more complete every time I stop in. Yeah. Tell me what's up with this thing. It's like a piece of art. Well, this is one of my customers that we're doing for S13 240. Um, this is a fully built RB25, I mean, board block, uh, head studs, cams, bigger valves, spring retainers, turbos, you know, 2000 cc injectors, 90 millimeter throttle body. Um, we even called up Australia. G'day, Mick Dundee from Australia. How are you? I don't know. I think guys at NATO Racing, okay. and they hooked us up with a $1,200 uh, oil pump, which is top notch. I mean, right. we didn't save a penny on this thing. Right, so it's spare no expense, only the best. Yep. And yep. how long will it take to do an engine swap between building it, taking the engine out of the car, putting the new one in, and getting it road ready? Well, we have a bunch of different packages. I mean, people always want to add the engine bay paint. Okay. Um, they want to do the dress up kit. Right. Um, you know, they might want to you know, powder coat a few things. So, so certain projects give or take certain different times, but basically I would say roughly turnaround is like a month on something. That ain't too bad Yeah. for a full engine yeah. and everything to put Once in. Once everything's available. If you have all the yep. parts in front of you and you're ready to go, yep. you and Pops can knock it out like that. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> this is a huge turbo on this uh, engine. Yep, this is another Precision Turbo. I mean, Precision's a great company. I've never had an issue with their turbos. Mm -hmm. They're awesome. And this is the Skyline engine, right? Yes. Yeah, I knew it looked familiar. <laughs> I know you and Pops just finished working on this car. Yep. What'd you do to it? Well, this is a, uh, a 89 7M uh, Toyota Supra. Um, what we did was we took the 7M out. Those motors are not really that great. Right. Uh, we took it out, we put in a uh, Toyota Supra motor, which is the 2JZ GTE. Okay. Um, these motors are almost bulletproof. They're awesome motors. Uh, it's not the cheapest, but it is the strongest motor on the market. It does remind me of the Skyline engine a little bit, the way it's positioned yep. in the car. Yeah. Do you get confused from working from Nissan to Toyota, or you pretty much got a handle on both of them, where things are? Well, you know, they're pretty much similar engines, you know, compression, fuel, spark, you know. Um, the only difference is, I would say, the 2J engine, you definitely would have to take a little bit more time and patience with it. But once it's running, this thing's both good. Yeah, I know you made a little extra room in the engine bay, and you relocated the battery to the back of the car. Yep, yep. There's a full kit that Summit sells. It's a full battery relocating kit right to the trunk. We have to make some room to fit these uh, turbo pipes. Okay. Um, to mount the front mount intercool and all that fun stuff. So, uh, you know, we have to make a little bit more room. Sounds good. I think the customer is going to be really, really super excited about this car. Yeah, I'm definitely happy the way it came out. Me too. It looks great.
project. What's your big project you're working on right now? Uh, well, that would be this white disease that right above you here. Um, I mean, this thing, you know, it's been touched by so many hands. Right. It just became a disaster. And I told the guy, you know, we just got to pull the engine out, do it the right way, paint the bay, put everything the way, you know, it should be. Okay. You know, change all the hoses, make it nice, you know, make it actually what it should be. Right. You know? This exhaust on this car is huge. Yeah, those are actually the HKS uh, exhaust, um, the Hypers. I love the style. I mean, they're super aggressive. Um, definitely not for a guy that's not going to be racing all the time. How's the sound? Is it Pretty aggressive to it? It's a lot. Okay. It's a lot. It doesn't, have a, it doesn't have a raspy sound, but it's, it's definitely got a nice bass to it. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. And I know you're working on another car. Got a dyno another 300ZX? Yes, yes. We have a, a car that we're going to do a dyno tune on that we actually just put on um, the new turbos that came out. It's a GTX series uh, ball bearing turbo. Okay. I mean, these things are so, I mean, they spin so free that you blow on them, they right. spin. It's right. insane. Um, they're brand new on the market. This guy was actually like the fifth person that bought these turbos okay. since they came out. Right. So we're going to put the car on the dyno. Um, all stock heads, built bottom, uh, a couple of goodies. We might, we might touch a little race gas in there tomorrow. Okay. Um, but we're going to slap it on the dyno. I'm expecting at least 500 or better. watching Auto DTV. I'm here with my good friend Roger. Roger, tell everyone where they can find you again. Well, come on down to 50 Cabot Street in West Babylon, New York. Look for all the 300s. That's where I'm at. You can't miss it. <laughs> Roger, thank you. Once again, I'd like to thank Roger from RZT Performance for allowing us to come down, checking out his shop, all his cool cars and everything he does, right? What? What is going yeah. on? What up? Who's here? Are you kidding me? Ladies and gentlemen, we got a surprise guest. Tim Will Hunting. <laughs> where'd you, um... What? Where'd you, get, where'd you get all these plates, man? I can't answer that question. What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm so trying to film here. I know we're still filming for my, for no, my we segment. No, we were done. We were wrapped. Uh, the show's just about me now. Oh. Every episode. Ladies and gentlemen, Tim Will Hunting. He uh, stopped by. Oh, you're by. filming right now? Yeah, I'm oh, trying shit. to tell you. That. <laughs> I didn't even notice. My bad. All right, I'll let you get back no, to no, it. No, well, at least say what's up to everybody. Yo, hey, hey everybody. Welcome listen. back to Auto DTV. <laughs> Look, real sorry, quick. Sorry, no, know. it's okay. I'm glad. That's a I'm nice sorry. surprise. I didn't know. While we have Tim Will Hunting here. Amazon, $9.99. Less than 10 bucks. Hey, I'm D from Auto DTV, and uh, Tim Will Hunting just stopped by. Uh, pick up his newest, The Custodian Chronicles, Volume 1, on Amazon and Amazon Kindle. And um, subscribe to Auto DTV. Thank you. What and, car are you filming next? <laughs> a Cadillac Escalade. <laughs> okay, it sounds good. Yeah, all right. All right. See, see you there. Can and I if you need a license plate for your for your car, if it's not legal, is that what, yeah, is just come here and just pop one on there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yep, that's all. Look, Custodian Chronicles, Volume 1. Pick it up. And I'd like to thank, uh, who are you thanking? I heard you say thank you something. Well, we got to thank the producer and her team, Colleen. Colleen Murphy. Yeah. Of course, no, but like for the show, somebody with this. Oh, Roger. We just filmed uh, Roger today at yeah. RZT Performance. That's dope. Yeah, it was, it was a good what time. What do you have, just these over there? 
Just Thanks. these today? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs>